What's up guys, today we're going over Blade and how his kit works. So Blade's a 5 star wind type that scales off of HP. So a mechanic of Blade's whole kit is that he pays HP to cast his abilities. If you've been watching other Honkai Star Rail videos, you may have seen that people have been saying Blade pairs really well with Luoka. And this is true, and I'll go over why later in the video. Alright, so first let's go over his kit. Alright, looking at his kit, his traces are all level 1 for me. So these are base percentages like usual. His basic, 50% to one enemy. Uh, it seems like this basic never changes, but I do note this every time because some characters do have additional effects with their basic attack. Alright, next for his skill. Blade page, 30% of his HP. It says a couple of things. It advances his action forward by 100%, which means he can immediately attack after casting this. Increases his damage by 12%, and it turns his basic attack Shard Sword into Forest of Swords. There is no separate text for Forest of Swords right now, so I don't have an exact description, but it's an enhanced basic attack. This lasts for 3 turns, and once you use this enhanced skill, you can't use it again, it does not stack. You can't cast it again until it times out after 3 turns. Also if you're wondering, you can't accidentally kill Blade by doing this. If you don't have enough HP, it sets it to 1. Alright, really quickly before we move on to his ultimate. Like I said, there isn't any text I can find anywhere in the game describing his enhanced basic attack, but I can tell you that when you use his skill to enhance his basic, it turns in from a single target to an AoE, I just don't know the values because I can't find them anywhere. But it turns his basic attack into an AoE. Alright, next is his ultimate. This does two separate attacks on the same enemies, so it targets, it targets up to three enemies, the main enemy and then the adjacents. So first it does 28.8% of his attack plus 72% of his HP. And then it does an additional 14.4% of his attack plus 36% of his HP as damage. After you cast his ultimate, it sets his HP to 50%. Note that it doesn't say pays 50% of his HP, it sets it to 50% of his HP. So Blade has like 55% HP for example. It'll only cost him 5% of his HP to cast his ultimate. Alright, so you might be thinking what happens if his HP is under 50% when you cast this. Nothing. Nothing happens. It doesn't heal him to 50% HP, it doesn't take any more. You just cast it. Alright, so next is his talent. His talent collects these charge stacks. So one charge stack lasts for three turns, a maximum of five. So every time he's attacked, he gains one charge stack. So these charge stacks last for three turns, stacking up to five times. So it usually isn't too difficult to hit this 5 max. So when the charge stacks hits maximum, at the next opportunity it auto consumes them. He then unleashes an AoE attack on all enemies. So this attack does 21% of Blade's attack, plus 54% of the damage he takes while stacking these charges. So if Blade takes 1000 damage while stacking these charge stacks, he does 21% of his attack, plus 540 damage on top of that. After this action is completed, he restores 30% of his max HP. Lastly his technique, it's an ambush skill, so it initiates the fight with the enemy. It automatically consumes 20% of Blade's HP and deals 40% of his HP as wind damage to all enemies. Alright, next up we're looking at his traces. We'll go over his bonus stats really quickly. So starting at the bottom and working our way around, we have max HP, max HP, effect resistance, attack, attack again, wind damage, Max HP, wind damage, attack, and effect resistance. So his bonus abilities when you level him up are, if Blade's HP is 50% or lower, incoming healing is increased by 20%. Alright next up, the wind damage of his talent is increased by 15%. And lastly, when he breaks an enemy that's weak to wind with his Force of Sword skill, which remember is his enhanced basic attack, he restores 10% of his HP plus 80. Alright next we'll brush over his light cone really quick. His path is the destruction. And I have his 5 star light cone equipped, which increases his HP by 16% and attack by 16%. Additionally, this increases his damage by 30% and his follow up attacks by 30%. So this directly affects both his attacks and his talent. Also really quick for Blade's light cone, I just want to show this purple, this 4 star. The moles welcome you. Because it's a really strong on every path of destruction character. So for every basic skill and ultimate used by the wearer, they gain 1 stack of mischievous and each stack increases the wearer's attack by 12%, and seemingly with no cap. So that'll be strong on literally anyone. Alright, lastly are his Eidolon levels. 
First up, we have when Blaze HP goes lower than 50%, his max HP increases by 20% up to 2 times. So temporarily during the fight, his max HP can increase by 40%. Alright, level 2. While his skill is active, if he restores HP, his next attack does 15% more damage up to 3 times. So if you're constantly healing, I mean he's already auto healing, but if you're constantly healing him while his skill is up, you can get a 45% damage increase. 3 and 5 add levels to his abilities. And level 4. And for level 4, when he uses ultimate, if his HP is above 50%, the HP that he loses, it deals that as wind damage. So the healthier blade is before you cast his ultimate, the more damage it will do. Last level 6. Alright, so for level 6, when blade is hit with a killing blow, it sets his HP to 1 and it auto triggers his talent. That means he follow up attacks and then restores 30% of his HP. And this can only happen 3 times. Alright, that's it for blade's kit. Right after this will be some commentary of me talking over his skills as I use them, as well as pairing him with Luoka and why they work so well together. Alright, so I use Blade's skill to enhance. We pay HP to cast that. It advances our action and we can immediately attack. Then we hit 5 out of 5 stacks, and then he follow up attacks as well. We got hit, so we take another charge stack. We got hit again, so we have another one. So we have two out of five. Now there isn't any text that I can see for his enhanced attack ability. So I don't know if when he's attacking, if his enhanced attack gives him a stack or if he's being hurt when he attacks his, his uh, enemy. Gets hit, goes to 4. Gets hit again, auto attacks. Okay, the Zolt. Sets it to 50% HP, and then Luoka auto heals him back almost up to full. That's why pairing him and Luoka are so strong. Now Luoka has to take action twice more before he can, he can do that again to Blade. So we can re-enhance. Alright, so Blade's talent is actually a lot easier to stack than I thought. So it says every time he takes damage, either once, either when you cast a skill it auto adds one charge, or it's because he pays HP and it's counting that as him taking damage. So every time he casts a skill, Every time he casts his ultimate, it's adding one charge stack to his talent. Alright, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, consider subscribing. But otherwise, thanks for watching. See ya.